Josh Duggar's wife Anna is a shell of a woman, but refuses to divorce him. Josh Duggar's wife Anna has turned into a shell of a woman, but refuses to divorce the disgraced star, a source has exclusively told The Sun. The father of 734, was found guilty of child pornography charges last year, and is scheduled to be sentenced later this month. Anna stood by him throughout the grueling trial, and a source claimed she has no plans to leave him due to their religious beliefs. Anna is a shell of a woman at the moment, but she is choosing to stay with Josh. They will not be getting a divorce, an insider exclusively told The Sun. She will visit him when she's allowed, as she still firmly believes he's innocent and it was all a setup. Josh Duggar's sentencing delayed by two months as he faces 20 years in prison, Anna is still living at the compound on the Duggar's land near the main family home and has no plans to move at this time. Jim Bob and Michelle don't believe in divorce at all. So because of that they have told friends that they will financially support Anna and the kids. They said Anna has no vocation, has never worked and has no means to support herself and the kids. The source added, some of Jim Bob's friends were pretty appalled that he wouldn't encourage Anna to divorce Josh, or at least tell her that she didn't have to stay. It sends a bad message to the kids. The Sun was previously provided Josh's video and call logs exclusively by the Sojo Files podcast. The 33-year-old mom of seven has made more than 100 calls to her spouse since he was locked up. The Sun can exclusively reveal the couple sold their Arkansas dream home just before the trial. Anna listed their four-bedroom, four-bathroom home in Springdale, Arkansas for $799,000 in September 2020. She didn't sell the home until one year later on September 29, 2021 for just $450,000, way below her asking price. Meanwhile, Josh requested to postpone his April 5 sentencing by 30 days while he remained behind bars at Washington County Jail in Arkansas. The Sun exclusively revealed Judge Timothy L. Brooks approved the request and gave him an additional month, as his sentencing has been scheduled to May 25. Josh's legal team filed a motion for an acquittal of the guilty verdict, a new trial, or the dismissal of the possession of child pornography charge. Prosecutors responded by claiming, the evidence of the defendant's guilt is clear and overwhelming. Josh's attorneys fired back by calling the trial and guilty verdict, unconstitutional. A judge has not yet ruled on the appeal. The pre-sentence investigation report, which helps determine the appropriate sentence, was completed in February. Josh's legal team filed an objection to the findings, though all documents are sealed. He was arrested and charged with possessing and receiving child pornography in April 2021 after Homeland Security raided his used car lot, wholesale motor cars, in November 2019. The highly publicized jury trial lasted two weeks before the jury submitted a guilty verdict on both counts. At trial, prosecutors presented damning evidence from Josh's HP computer. It was revealed that one file name found on his HP desktop computer was of a video of a three-month-old being sexually abused. 